Last night's HISD board meeting, including the fate of the principal of Yates High School. HISD trustees voted to keep the principal employed. Our Brittany Jeffers joining us live from Yates High School with those developments. Brittany, good morning. Yes, good morning to you. Well, as we reported, the principal here at Yates High School was relieved of her duties back in December. However, as you referenced, we did see some developments last night. The board voting six to three against firing the principal here. So Tiffany Guillory has been with the district for 20 years and several parents and former students attended the board meeting last night, voicing their support for her. Among the supporters was nationally renowned journalist Journalist Roland Martin, who is a graduate of the school. He's donated tens of thousands of dollars to the communications department at Yates High School. There are many folks who would love to have my money, but I prefer to leave it in HISD. If you make this move and fire her, you're making a great mistake. Guillory should be the principal at Yates, and this action should not be taken in the middle of a school year. It is grossly disruptive to the education process. So also during the meeting last night, there was another big announcement for families who've been fighting to keep their students from being removed from the Preparing Students for Independence program at TH Rogers. We learned that the program will remain intact, preventing the special needs students' normal routine from being disrupted. Now, HISD Superintendent Miller House II released a following statement last night, saying in part, quote, HISD is committed to meeting TH TEA requirements for the least restrictive environment to keep the program intact at TH Rogers and better engaging our parents and families in decisions impacting our students now and in the future. The feedback, advocacy, and involvement of our community was critical in arriving to this outcome. Now, focusing here back at Yates High School, at this point in time, it is still unclear when the principal will return to work and if she may be here today. Reporting Live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.